What's going on? It's your boy Sean Breed, and um, topic of today is uh, don't mind my face. I got uh, some ointment and medication on my face. Um, nothing to be alarmed about, but uh, this is what I do every night. Uh, Y'all just don't know it because I never let it be seen, but um, I needed to record right now and. Uh, Keeping it real is keeping it real. That's basically what it is. Keeping it fake is, oh, let me wash this off and let me get right for TV. I don't do that. This is what it is right now. This is what I got. I got some ointment, some, I forget what the name of it is. Um, but it's over the counter stuff, you know, that I just try to keep my face moisturized. This is some ointment that I put on my face and it dries up and whatever you know what I mean it's all good you know just came from dinner with my moms and my wife and kids and all that you know not uh celebrating mother's day but celebrating mother's year you know what I mean not one day that goes by do I not appreciate the mothers of this world and what they do for us and our children you know what I mean and you should too but besides that you know I want to speak about the subject of being a boss. I hear that a lot. Um, I just started hearing it uh, in the music business uh, a couple of years ago. Boss, boss, boss. Rick Ross, the boss, and I'm a boss, and I'm a boss, and I'm a boss. You know, um, Rick Ross said it best. He said, uh, an OG is one who stands on his own feet. A boss is one who guaranteed that we're going to eat. So are you a boss? Are you a boss? Not guaranteed that we're going to eat uh, chicken wings and pork fried rice. We're not talking about that. That's easy. I could feed 50 niggas with that. At five dollars a pop, do the math times fifty. I could do that. We're not talking about that. Guarantee we're gonna eat. I'm gonna keep you and your family alive. You know what I mean? That's a boss. Like, like, I'm, I'm, um, you, you, like, you know what I mean? You, you work for me. I got your life in my hands. That's what I'm talking about. Not a boss, not a weekend boss. Yo, nigga, I got your drink. Yo, drink on me. See them, them three right there? Drinks on me. Uh-uh. Because they going to work on Monday. They take care of the rest of their lives. A boss is handling their life. They rent. That's, that's what it is. So when you say you're a boss, can you do that? And there's a lot of artists that can, especially when they got a nice little hit record going around. They can do that. You know, realistically, there's some niggas that's warranting ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 a show and they're doing four shows a week. So they can technically do that. But what I have a problem with is when you get regular folk, nine to fivers, and, I, and I've been a nine to fiver most of my life. You know what I mean? Like, I've always had to hustle for my money. Uh, you know, so I've been a nine to fiver, so I'm not putting that down. But, you know, it's like, Stop, don't, don't spit no rhyme talking about, yeah, I'm a boss. You're a boss? How? What are you doing? How are you a boss? You know, and with hard work and dedication and motivation, you know, I've come to the point where I consider myself a boss because I can take care of someone's life. Or lives. 
you know it's just the it, it, it you know the differentiation between me and like somebody like Diddy is how many lives can you take care of Diddy might could take care of 200 lives maybe me three or four you know what I'm saying that's the only differentiation but it comes from up here first boss is a mentality how you move around, how you what you accept in life, how you operate, how you talk to 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 the dude in the bodega, how you talk to somebody in a restaurant. You know what I mean? Uh when 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 you sitting down to have a meal. How you operate, how you play chess in life. That's that's a boss. I've and, and when I thought of it that way, I said, damn, I've been a boss since I was like 11, 12 years old, I've been a boss, because I've always manipulated my life to gain, to move forward, I've always, and that's, and, and you know, and that, that's not just me, and if you relate to it, then, then you're a boss also, you know? And that's, that's the way it's always been. Once again, Sean Breed, I got stuff on my face, you know what I mean? You got to moisturize, you got to take care of yourself, you know what I mean? So if you saying, if you're looking at the video saying, yo, dude ain't looking too right, you know? Um, it's a, a long weekend of, of Hennessy and Ciroc, that plays a part in it, but in no sleep. In studio time, but also there's uh, a lot of. See, you can see it right there. Like when I turn to the light, this is certain medication that's on my face, you know, to keep it from flaring up. You don't you don't want all these big bumps and all this on your face. So you gotta do things to make sure it look right. But real re reevaluate. Your definition of a boss. You're not a boss if you can't take care of someone else's life within your immediate family. You know what I mean? That's realistic. And that's not putting you down. It's like, don't rap about that. Don't say it. You know what I mean? Somebody come to you and be like, yo, you know what I mean? I need to be on payroll. Um... Um, and it's got to be enough to pay my rent and my car note, my insurance. And, um, you know, I got to eat and buy clothes and all that. I need you to take care of me. One person. If you can't do that, you're not a boss. You could be a boss in the making with a certain type of mentality. You're a boss in the making. I mean, I'm a boss. You know what I mean? But you don't tell nobody you're a boss up here first because everything materializes in the brain first. And then it gets to the point where it materializes in the physical. You know? So, which one are you? You know? I've, I've, I'm, I'm both. You know, I can handle, I do handle people's lives and payroll and handling people and taking care of people. I do, you know? So I'm a boss, you know? What are you? Not everybody's meant to be a boss, but don't say it. Now, I'm, this is not talking to the regular people that's going to work and everything. You ain't gotta be that. I, I, I want you to strive to be a boss, but you ain't gotta be that. I'm talking about you, you, you MCs, I'm a boss. And we ain't talking about Rick Ross, he a boss, you know what I mean? We ain't talking about Meek Mills and all them, they bosses. We ain't even talking about people in the music business. I'm talking about the ex aspiring uh, uh, swagger niggas in the business, you know? I step to you and be like, yo, take care of my life, nigga. Can you handle that? Take care of my life. I got a wife and three daughters. Take care of my life, nigga. What you doing? Hmm? Sean Breed, out.
reevaluate this.